Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install IPTV Smarters Pro on any Chromecast with Google TV, and also how to enable developer options and allow for unknown sources. So the first thing that we need to do is on the home screen of your Chromecast with Google TV, TV hover over apps. And then I'm going to scroll down and click the search box and type in Downloader. And after you type in Downloader, click the search icon, and you should see Downloader under Apps. Go ahead and click that. And then once you're on this page, click Install, and then just wait a few seconds for Downloader to install on your Chromecast. All right. And after Downloader has installed before launching, there are some settings that we need to change on our device. So, guys, I'm going to hit the Home button here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over the top here. And then on the right-hand side, you'll see a settings icon. Scroll all the way to the right, and then click the settings icon here. And now once you're on this screen that I see here, you're going to scroll down and you want to click system. So once you're on the system screen, what we need to do next is scroll down and click about. And then once you're on the about menu, scroll down and you should see an option here that says Android TV OS Build. Now, your number will probably be different here, but regardless of what this says, you need to click this as many times until you see the following message. No need. You are already a developer. Now, once you see that message, we can go back and click the Home button, and I'm going to scroll down to My Apps and find Downloader. So now we can go ahead and click the Downloader app to launch it. Click Allow, click OK, and you have now installed the Downloader app. After installing the Downloader app and allowing unknown sources on our Chromecast with Google TV, I'm going to go ahead and click the search box, and I'm going to enter the following word, IPTV Smarter. You'll be redirected to a page. Then scroll down until you find it. Click on it. After that, keep scrolling until you see the Android logo and the APK file. It's located above the Google Play logo. Here, click on Install in the right bottom corner, and then click Open. But before we use it, those IPTV providers might not have the proper permissions to stream certain content. Consider using a VPN like NordVPN. Why? Because a VPN can hide your IP address from your internet service provider and even the government. But it also unlocks geo-restricted content. That means you can access shows and movies not normally available in your region. Here's the deal. Streaming new movies or football matches without proper authorization can get you into trouble. You might face fines of $750 or more if you're caught. So. To avoid any legal headaches and to be safe while enjoying your favorite content, especially copyrighted material, it's a smart move to use a VPN. Stay secure. Stream responsibly. Now here's the cherry on top. I've got a special discount link that gets you a whopping 63% off plus an extra four months free. And here's the best part. NordVPN offers a 30-day guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you can get your money back 100% without losing a single dollar. So, not only stay secure, but also enjoy a fantastic deal and peace of mind. Stream responsibly and confidently with NordVPN. Select your device type as TV, then accept the license agreement. From this moment, everything is quite simple. You can add the M3U playlist, which is the most common way to add playlists. Click on it, allow access to your files. Here, just name your playlist, then select whether you want to upload a file or use the M3U link. After you do that, just click on Add Playlist. Alternatively, you can also use the Extreme Codes. Let's go back. Here's the Extreme Codes option. Here you can set a name, your username, password, and the link which is provided by your provider. Then you can go to the bottom, click on List Playlist to see the list of your playlists. Don't forget to get a NordVPN via my link in a pinned comment below. Congratulations! Your Fire Stick, Fire TV, is now all ready to stream your favorite content. So, that's actually everything I have for you guys. Always thank you for watching.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment, and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and help to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers, and I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.